hello good evening friends so today we are here to learn how to root your micromax phone any of your micromax android phone like if uh, we are rooting actually when we get the micromax phone when we buy it a new one so there's a lot of uh, software that we really don't use that's really of not our use actually but we have to keep it and we are unable to uninstall it so that just eats up our memory and uh, we feel that now it should not be there so uh, rooting is a process that really helps you out with that one uh, if you just uh, root your phone you can remove all those applications that you re uh, not uh, require or that is not of your use and along with that you can just uh, speed up the clock speed that is your CPU speed and uh, if you want to have a long battery backup just reduce the speed so you are just the master you are the owner of your phone the real owner of your phone and you just feel proud of it that yeah i am having micromax a75 it will really enhance the uh, quality of your micromax phone so what we need to do is that uh, actually uh, yeah one more important thing that uh, actually routing just avoids your uh, uh, warranty period so uh, if any mishap happens during this routing process, Zitco is really not responsible for it. So if you feel that uh, you, if it's up to you that uh, if you want to do it or not, it's your responsibility totally. So, but there's the cases, the very low chances of this mishap. So, but I'm not forcing you. I'm just uh, giving you a way how you can do, it and it's up to you if you want to follow it or not. So just see it how to do it. it's very easy and simple so let's get started the very thing is that uh, just open the website it's a z double e t k o dot co dot cc zco dot co dot cc and here's the blog option click on the blog and here the very first recent post uh, is here routing your micromax android phone so just click on that and uh, we are having the details here how to go through it so the first thing that uh, routing uh, what all routing is there this things that is that's just have explained here and here's the note if any mishap happens while routing so zitco is really not responsible for it so okay so whatever is that so now here's the real process is starting off routing so just download all the file mentioned here click here to download just click here and you will be directed to a download page just wait for five seconds and uh, after that five seconds just uh, skip that and uh, there you will get this download file just download it and uh, the download is started here so you just download that file and uh, after that we'll continue so the file is a uh, very small it's uh, something around 8 MB or yeah it's 8.2 MB so here's my download is uh, completed so i have downloaded here it's a zitco mmx so just to right click on that file and uh, extract it somewhere wherever you want it to so i'm just right clicking it here and uh, i'm extracting it to zitco.mmx and uh, here's my extracted file yeah. so just uh, this is the one thing here uh, sp flash tool dot uh, tool exe dot this is the version of this flash tool just click on this flash tool here how we go i'm just repeating it uh, here we have extracted the file double click on that click on micromax a75 and just uh, click on that here's the flash tool option right click on that and run as administrator and then run this file here this interface will be the uh, smartphone flash tool and here's the scatter loading just uh, click on that and where you have downloaded that file just go to that location I have downloaded it to desktop here's my desktop in there there's Android folder and here's Zitco uh, so click on the Android folder here click on the location yeah, first uh, click on the scatter file go to that location where you have downloaded that file in that folder click on uh, SP flash tool then here's the Android folder click on the Android folder and here's the scatter file double click on it and here's the bootloader files lost when automatically loading the scatter file so it's just a simple warning uh, to worry about that just click OK 
and uh, here's the thing now comes the important part here this recovery the option fifth option from the top and uh, fifth from the bottom though that's great click on the recovery option and here you will get a browsing file here so just go back and uh, here in the home folder of the downloaded file the CWM clockwork mode it's CWM it's a clockwork mode so just click on double click on that and here's it's loaded now what uh, you need to do is that uh, you need to switch off your phone but before that you need to have the USB debugging mode on so I'm just showing you how to do that so here we go just uh, go to the main menu here's the menu go to the menu and there select setting option uh, here's setting select on setting and there you will get an option of uh, uh, go to applications the application option okay and uh, there you need to select development is the development and the very first option is USB debugging just click that and you will get an uh, confirmation just click OK and just go back there and uh, here's here's the thing unknown unknown sources click on that unknown sources and again the confirmation message so click OK back here so it's all done just uh, switch off your phone after that and I would just uh, recommend you that uh, you just need to have a backup of all your files that you are having like your phone book your messages or uh, whatever you're having just to create a backup of it because rooting your phone will just change that uh, or delete that uh, all the things that you're having in your file okay so here as we go uh, after switching off the phone you just need to click this uh, here download and then you will be asked to um, insert the USB cable here so in that USB cable in 10 seconds so just uh, insert that USB cable in 10 second your phone should be switched off the very first thing is that your phone should, should be switched off for this okay and uh, then you will get a confirmation message that yeah your phone has been rooted click OK then just click OK and after doing these things your phone has been rooted now what we need to do is that we need to install a custom mode custom mode is uh, uh, some same the Android applic uh, Android operating system it's the same Android operating system now what we need to do is that we need to download a custom ROM so I'm giving uh, here's the link in the blog itself so download it from there so here by clicking here back to the blog here and if you have closed it then just go to zetc.co.cc zetco.co.cc and just click on this blog option and here's the very first routing of Micromax Android Android phone and here click to download the custom room again the same ad process is there so just wait for the 5 second and just skip it and you will then be able to download a file uh, that I have already downloaded it here here's it in my folder silver light okay then just copy this file to your SD card and uh, after copying your f copying this file to the SD card just insert the SD card in your cell phone in your phone and uh, then just switch it off okay so after switching it off we need to follow these steps so here we go here's the phone just the volume button the up button and the down button okay just keep pressing the up button and the power button this one together just keep pressing the up button and the power button together and wait for it as I have already um, downloaded this custom room so here this. here you will see what is exactly it is so just to, to navigate use this up and down button and to select use this power button okay this is the clockwork recovery mode of your phone so just select this option wipe the factory data this third option factory data reset just click on that and here click OK to wipe it after you do that just go back and select the option of click the cache partition again click here yes and then just go back after doing that 
you need to just go to the advanced option click on that and select the option of wipe Delvi cache click OK and here's wipe Delvi cache after doing that also just go back and again go back now what we need to do is that we need to install that from our SD card click on that and here's the first option choose zip from SD card sorry go back we'll do it again here now what we need to do is that install zip from SD card click on that and first option install zip from SD card click OK and select the file that we have already put here uh, silver light here and just click on that and it will start installing okay and after installing it will ask you to reboot your phone so here's the option reboot the system now after the installation is done just click on that and your phone should start somehow like this here's the silver light it will take a bit of time and after that it's all done it will take a time so just wait for it to do uh, its a booting process and uh, after a certain time it will just have the graphics like this and you're all done your micromax phone has been rooted it was very easy and simple so what next uh, we need to do is that after rooting you are having the superpower of your phone so uh, in the next uh, blog and in the next video we have shown you how to enhance your uh, internal memory through your with the help of your SD card I mean to say that uh, the internal memory of Micromax is very low so with the help of, of your SD card you can enhance it up to 2 GB 3 GB 4 GB and you can have a uh, number of uh, applications and it will run quite well so thank you for watching this video hope you had um, liked it and please share this page as much as possible and thank you for your loves and support it was really nice thank you good day